The timing of the visit is very important because we are at a critical point in relation to Iran. Iran is advancing in uranium enrichment. It has already significantly shortened the time required for them to accumulate enough material to build a nuclear bomb. We inherited a not-so-simple situation. Iran is behaving aggressively throughout the region. I will tell President Biden that it is time to stop the Iranians not to give them a lifeline and to let them re-enter into an agreement that has already expired and is no longer relevant. And I'm joined in the studio of our Middle East correspondent, Ariel Osiran, uh, this time uh, looking at a, a, a pivotal moment, it feels like, with uh, Prime Minister Bennett going to the White House this week now, the first meeting between the two of them, Bennett and Biden, uh, at least as Prime Minister and President. Um, clearly, Iran is on the agenda. What's the latest in Iran, significant developments in Iran? Right, so I'll just add to that that in a few weeks, uh, there isn't a date yet, but Bennett is also supposed to meet Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi. So uh, a lot of uh, positive diplomatic momentum for Prime Minister Bennett. But as to your question, in, in Iran, uh, yesterday, President Ibrahim Raisi, he spoke in parliament ahead of uh, the, <clears throat> the vote of confidence for his new cabinet on Wednesday. He defended his cabinet picks, and he mainly said that the primary goal of his new government will be to tackle the coronavirus pandemic. Iran is seeing a massive surge in new cases, just like uh, other places in the world, but this latest surge is the worst uh, since the pandemic began there. There's accounts of zero capacity also at hospitals, but also in morgues. So him bringing this up at the head of this set of statements, this meeting clearly speaks to the severity of the outbreak right now, despite what may, may be known or not, it's clearly a major issue inside Iran. Oh, definitely. And the, the numbers, you know, you have to take them with a grain of salt, but official numbers coming out of Iran is that so far since the pandemic began, the death toll is at 100,000. But analysts have said that that could be three, four times higher. But an, an interesting, uh, another major issue for Raisi's new government will obviously be the nuclear talks, which will be the center point of Bennett and Biden's meeting on Thursday. Uh, to that end, uh, Prime Minister, uh, President Raisi defended his pick for foreign minister. We're talking about Hussein Amir Abdullahiyan. He was a former uh, deputy foreign minister under the uh, Rouhani administration. He was ousted at 2016 by then Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif for being too connected to the Iranian Revolutionary Guard and too zealous in his approach towards the U.S. So that could be an indication as to where now he's these talks are going. The next foreign minister. For the, the next foreign minister, and he's going to manage the nuclear talks. Mm -hmm. So for being, for being ousted, for being too, too zealous and having too many connections to the Revolutionary Guard, that could signal where the talks, if if these indirect talks in Vienna will resume, this could show where, where they might go. It certainly does feel like the best indicator we've had in weeks, perhaps, on, on where these talks may be going and not in the right direction, at least from our perspective. Ariel Saran, thanks for giving us a glimpse of some of the latest in Iran. Obviously, we'll be talking a lot more about that.